Where is Southeast Asia's first and only nuclear power plant located? Singapore, Indonesia, the Philippines. The answer is the Philippines. It was built on the west coast of Morong, Bataan at Luzon Island. Former President Ferdinand Marcos Sr. commissioned a U.S. company, Westinghouse, to build the nuclear power plant in the mid-70s. As early as 1960s, the Philippine government is already considering the nuclear option for the country to reduce our dependence on fossil fuel oil. Sitting on 389 hectares of land, that's the size of 544 football fields, the Bataan nuclear power plant was completed in 1985. With a capacity to produce 620 megawatts of power, the plant cost a whopping 1.9 billion US dollars to build. And it could generate an output of about 15 gigawatt hours per day. That's enough to run more than half a million homes for 24 hours. But in 1986, Marcos was out of power, and Chernobyl's power was out of control in the same year. The Philippines plant's future prematurely ceased. The Philippine government then decided to mothball the power plant. So from 1986 up to the present, we are still under preservation. As you can see, all the controls are analog. There is nothing wrong with uh, this analog equi equipment. There are 94 running nuclear plants in America. I would say 75 or 80 of them are like this. That's, the, that's a, another fallacy. Nuclear is so simple. Even so, the Bataan plant has never produced a single watt since. But with one of the highest energy costs in Southeast Asia and climate change bearing down, the Philippines' interest in nuclear power has surged anew. 10% of the take-home pay of the median Filipino family goes to electricity. We are almost 120 million people and we have very expensive electricity and we are under severe energy security constraints. At present, the Philippines' energy mix comprises 31% coal and 32% oil, totaling 63%. The aim is to transition towards less reliance on oil and coal and more emphasis on alternative technologies. And nuclear energy will play a pivotal role. However, the connection of nuclear to past disasters remains a major concern for Filipinos. Nuclear is unhealthy because of the radiation and the danger, the future danger that we are facing. It's a huge problem because it will last like generation to generation. Anti-nuclear advocates call for more renewable energy sources like solar, wind, hydro and geothermal. But could a mix of energy sources be a more prudent solution? Renewables like solar and wind are only available at best 30% of the time. In contrast, nuclear, if you turn it on, it's available 92% of the time. You still need renewables, but if you have renewables, it's good that nuclear is a backup. In the Philippines, energy security is a big deal when considering nuclear as an option. About half of its energy comes from coal, and most of that is imported. Cost is another major factor. If the Bataan nuclear plant were ever to be restarted, the fuel will fit in a Filipino jeepney. That fuel will last for 18 months, it's one and a half years. Now, if it were a coal plant, same output for 18 months, how much coal will that need? You will need 50 ships. A ship contains 50 to 80,000 tons of coal. What is the cost of the fuel for 18 months? 30 million US dollars. What is the cost of 50 ships of coal importation? 800 million US dollars, plus a lot of carbon emission. Several countries in Asia, including China, Japan, South Korea, and India, are already using nuclear power in their energy mix. We have commenced already. 
to, to put in place a nuclear energy program. If we have the patience, determination, I think we will have it in the next decade.